Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Toy Hacks Repro Labels review. And in this video, we are going to go over the decal sets for Power of the Prime's Wave 2 Dinobots, Snarl and Sludge. Like the other decal sets, these are going to give extra added details to these Power of the Prime figures to make them look more like their Generation 1 counterparts that I have there in the back. So without further ado, let's take a closer look and see what kind of magic Toy Hacks can add to these already awesome looking figures. Okay, now the first figure we're going to go over is Snarl. And Snarl's set consists of one sheet that, as you can see, has multiple decals for the armor plating on the dinosaur mode. The scales, the, the spine plates, if you will. You also have some circuitry detail that pay homage to the circuitry detail on the Generation 1 figures. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at Snarl in robot mode before. Now Snarl right out of the package has a few minor details on him. You see the details here on the chest, an Autobot symbol here on this clear piece. You have the arrows and blue squares there on the legs that once again are reminiscent of the G1 figure here. Flipping him around on the back, there's really no paint applications on the back whatsoever. You will notice that mine is sporting a chrome sword. I did that with one of those chrome pins that you can get off Amazon. Molotov liquid chrome pin. So definitely was a major improvement over the clear plastic sword that he got. So anyway, there is one final look at Snarl in robot mode before. Snarl in robot mode gets some great extra added details thanks to the upgrade set including stickers for the plates here on the tail on his shoulders, new shoulder decals here and here. He gets replacement stickers for the factory chest stickers here, and some nice throwbacks to his Generation 1 self there on his combiner port. He also gets a new belt waist piece, new sticker details for the legs that replace the ones that came factory installed, some details here, black lines across the wrist, bicep stickers here, and some circuitry decals here on the side. Robot mode looks great. Couple complaints though is I wish they could have had stickers to cover up these screw holes and stickers to actually add to the clear sword would have been great as well. But anyway, that is Snarl in robot mode after. Now, Snarl in dinosaur mode really doesn't have any details at all. He's got the red and blue arrows there on his back and a Autobot symbol there on his forehead. A great callback to the original Generation 1 figure. But other than that, that's it. Other than his gold, red, black, and gray collars, that's all the details you get on this guy. Now, here's one final look at Snarl in dinosaur mode before. Now in dinosaur mode is where you're going to notice the most improvements with the decal set, including the spines, which have that nice gold chrome look, so it really catches the light. You also have circuitry detail here on the side and up here behind the hind leg. You also have this new gray sticker with some details here. The stickers here along the top have been replaced. Small details here on the tail, details here on the dinosaur foot. Now he did come with different eye stickers where you could either turn it red or blue. I decided to just keep it as it was. So anyway, there is Snarl in dinosaur mode after. Okay, next up we have is Sludge. Now Sludge came with three different sticker sheets. You have this main sheet here, a filler sheet that I'll go over in a little bit more detail later, and a sheet consisting of two different Autobot, or excuse me, Dinobot logos, if you can see if we can focus in on those a little bit. Two Dinobot symbols. So now let's take a look at Sludge a little closer before. Sludge right out of the package is very plain. 
He's got some circuitry detail down here all above his feet, just like the Generation 1 version. And that's about it. He's got a little Autobot symbol up here on his chest. But other than his mold plastic, he's got no other details whatsoever. He's a very plain looking robot. Now I do want you to note the holes in his wings here. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different holes that's in the plastic on those wings. Which actually form the dinosaur sides. The upgrade set from Repro Labels is going to take care of that. So let's get one final look at Sludge before. Sludge in robot mode gets a lot of nice new details too, including fillers for the holes inside the wing that show circuitry details. Now it's pretty neat how Repro Labels did this. They had a clear sheet that went over top of the holes, and then you had a sticker that went on the back, and then these stickers that go on the inside. So kudos to you, Repro Labels. That was a pretty neat fix. Anyway, on to the more details of Sludge. He's got these green accents on his forearms, these glowing red accents there above his fist, these teeny tiny blue details here on his waist, new details here on the thighs, the toes, and new circuitry detail right here above the feet. All in all, a very nice look for this, what was a very plain looking figure. So there is another shot of Sludge after. Now Sludge right out of the package in dinosaur mode doesn't look near as plain as he did in robot mode. The collars just seem to blend better with this mode than his robot mode in my opinion. Of course you still have the details here on the back which are a nice throwback to the original generation one figure. You can still see those holes on his sides that, like I said before, the decal set will take care of. But that's pretty much it. You do have the Autobot symbol on the forehead, just like Generation 1, and some painted in eyes. So we'll go ahead and take one more final look at Sludge in dinosaur mode before. Sludge's dinosaur mode gets a lot of details carried over as well, especially along his back. He gets new chrome stickers here, the filler sticker that I showed earlier that really accents his back, a lot of nice details here on the side, along the tail, and up top that you also saw in robot mode. He also has these really tiny details right here along his side. Now right there is where I need to give a shout out to Toy Hacks as well for another one of their products, their little tweezer set that I bought a few years ago. I love these things. These are so handy for getting in those little tiny detail stickers like you see right there. I've used this set of tweezers on every Repro Label set that I put on over the last couple years. So if you need a good set of tweezers, Repro Label's got you covered there as well. And that's it for Sludge. I mean, he looks really good. I think the details really stand out on him. Just like Snarl, he had an extra set of eyes right there. I stuck with the factory eyes. They work just as well for me. Plus, they kind of stuck to that Generation 1 look. So there you have it. There is Sludge after. And there you go, guys. That's my thoughts on Toy Hacks Repro Labels, Power of the Primes, Snarl, and Sludge Dinobot sets. They are great sets that really give a nice throwback to their Generation 1 figures and add a lot to the newer figures as well, considering they were so plain to begin with straight out of the package. But wait, we're not finished yet. And there you have Volcanicus completely upgraded with Toy Hacks Repro Labels upgrade sets. So I figured I couldn't show off the Dinobots themselves without showing off the big guy. If you want to check out my other reviews of these other Dinobot sets, please look in the description of the video and I'll have links to those as well.
Now I want to thank you for stopping by and taking a look at my video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. This has been Patriot Prime. Hoo-ah!